Hey everyone, welcome to my boudoir and uh, I wanted to show you my new baby. Uh, you may have seen photos but I wanted to explain in detail the uh, very amazing drum birthing workshop that I went on with Hoppy and I just wanted to show you um, and explain to you about uh, my new drum. So I'm just going to, before we do that, let me just play a little bit of the drum. It's dried out now, so here we go. So the first thing I'd love to do is to honour all of uh, the beings which uh, went, the spirit beings which went into making this drum. So first of all, um, this is a red deer skin and these uh, red deer skins are, um, are from a cull of deer. Um, so it's kind of like the deer are uh, immortalised in the drum. So this uh, was probably, uh, I, I sense it's a, a female deer as opposed to a stag because the, the, the skin is quite thin and some of the other um, skins were quite thick. And so I'm, I'm kind of assuming this might have might have been a, a deer. So, th so it's uh, made out of red deer skin as is the kind of binding here. Um, the frame inside, it's, it's got a wooden frame and that is made out of ash. Now ash is the queen of the forest, whereas oak is the king of the forest. So, uh, and it's very interesting, there's um, a lot of ash at Crestbrook Dale. Um, some of it suffering from uh, ash dieback, but uh, most of the ash actually within our section of Crestbrook Dale is actually quite healthy. Um, so it's interesting that there is ash in this drum uh, and also this is rabbit and again this is um, kind of ethically, ethically sourced rabbit so this is the hide of one rabbit which is also uh, included in the beta and the beta is made of willow and willow is very healing uh, wood so this is a, a piece of willow so um, we've got the rabbit skin here, beautiful rabbit skin. Um, there's also the handle of this is a piece of limestone from Crestbrook Dale. And actually it's a stone, it's a queer that I um, often held in my hand when I sleep. It's just a, a shamanic trick that uh, you hold a, a rock in your left hand when you sleep and you can invoke uh, dreams with holding a rock and it's actually very calming and soothing. So actually this was my kind of dreaming queer rock and which I which kind of fits very beautifully in the palm of my hands. So when I was thinking about the handle for this drum I thought ah I'm going to actually bind that rock into the handle because it, it beautifully fits in the palm of my hand. So that is a piece of limestone from Crestbrook Dale. And then the final thing is a swan feather. Now this is uh, attached on with some twine. Now this swan feather uh, was given to me by Amber, Amber, Amber Sibley, you may know. And she gave it to me many years ago and I, I felt inspired to attach it because of course uh, the goddess Saraswati is the goddess of music and song and uh, she rides a white swan as in the Mark Boland song, Sar Saraswati rides a white swan. So hence the swan feather. So just to um, explain a few little things about the um, how we made this. Now, um, there is an anchor knot, which is the first knot that you make. And in that knot, you set an intention for uh, something super strong and so uh, the spirit, I put the spirit of Apu Azangate in the anchor knot which is the the huge amazing sacred mountain in Peru where I did a lot of work 
It's also very much a community mountain. Uh, so I, I very much um, have been invoking the spirit of Apu Azangate when it comes to Crestbrook, even though Crestbrook is a valley, not a mountain. But it's uh, it's kind of like the father, like the grandfather mountain. So the spirit of Apu Azangate is in this drum. And you'll see around the edge here, there are 32 holes. And we were, as we made these holes, we were asked to, um, to put some intentions into the drum of the values that we wanted to imbue with with these um in these sort of eight sections so eight sections each of four holes so the values that i imbued into the drum first of all peace and love two opposite sides peace and love and uh joy and healing then uh i put in um abundance and gratitude as a kind of partner partnering values so that beautiful abundance but also that huge gratitude for receiving in that kind of flow and then um, protection and courage because you may well know that uh, we have had some challenges uh, with our Crestbrookdale community so very much I was making this drum very mindfully of Crestbrookdale and our Crestbrookdale community and so asking spirits for protection but also uh, that spirit of courage to be able to stand strong in the face of uh, those who would uh, try to make our lives a little difficult shall we say and uh, just to have the courage to stand strong um, and uh, in our sovereign power because obviously we are the new owners of the land and um, I I know that it's maybe been quite difficult for some of the local people to accept that, some of the authorities to accept that, um, but uh, we did buy the land in perpetuity and we do no, now own it outright, the 53 acres which we've retained and so um, very much we're here to stay is uh, my message to you. So this drum uh, I haven't yet taken it to Crestbrook, but I will be taking it to, um, I, I will be taking it there to the forest. And I did also, uh, as part of the kind of birthing ceremony, when this was complete, actually, can you hear me as I speak into this, you can hear the drum resonating with my voice. Um, when I did the birthing ceremony for this, it had a kind of piece, uh, they call it the umbilical cord, which is the piece of um, this uh, skin, which is uh, wrapped round the final knot. I cut it off and I buried it in the forest at Crestbrook Dale. So it's very symbolic. So I'm just going to play it a, a bit more for you and um, just sending you so much love um, and uh, blessings from this beautiful red deer shamanic drum. Yes. Yeah. We're going. Yeah, we are. We are rolling. Okay. So, this is the umbilical cord of my drum. This is a red deer, and um, so this is the the binding. So I'm going to, to bury this in the land here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to find a little spot and. Uh, Create a little hole. I haven't really got much good implements to uh, make an offering to the land. And um, yeah, there are red deer who live in the forest here. And a couple of walkers told us they, they saw some the other day. I've only ever heard them when I was camping here. I heard them sniffing outside the tent. I've never actually seen them, so I'm really setting an intention that 
we will get to get to uh, witness the red deer, the natural inhabitants of this land. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to bury this piece of my drum in honour of the red deer, of the, the deer who was immortalised um, in that, oh, I just broke the spoon. I'm going to put this up, up there. So yeah, the red deer who's immortalised in the um, in the drum, which is so beautiful and makes such an amazing sound. So uh, it does feel very symbolic that uh, that it's uh, kind of in honour of the deer who live here. And hopefully, uh, at some point, I'm going to bring the drum here and play it in the forest. Over and out.